Rui Lopez opening, Berlin defense, 4.d3 bc5. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. Both players navigated the middle game well. Black had the better end of a sloppy end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. nf6 advances the knight and engages in an attack on the exposed e4 pawn. d3 protects the e4 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. bc5 develops the bishop, attacks the f2 pawn and prepares castling. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. Games Master. It is the final book action. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. Making the adversary double their pawns makes it easier to establish flaws. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. That's a decent move. That's good. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. This defends the pawn that was attacked. It is ideal. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This reveals an attack on a pawn. It is best. This hits in the middle and prevents the opponent from gaining ground. It is quite good. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is ideal. That's fine. It is good. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. That pawn was available for free. It is quite good. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. This threatens to double the pawns in front of the king. It is best. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. This stops the opponent from being able to double the pawns in front of the king. It is good. A solid choice. It is excellent. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is quite good. The game was close to equal, but now white has the advantage. It is an inaccuracy. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. That's good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. That's an unfortunate error. It is a mistake. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This protects an underdefended knight that is under attack. This threatens to reveal an attack on a rook. It is excellent. This stops the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a rook. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This threatens to win material. It is best. 
This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This stops the opponent from being able to win material. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. The pawn is now adequately defended. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This misses a chance to improve a bishop's square and broaden its range. It is incorrect. Very precise. It is best. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This captures a vulnerable pawn. This threatens to win material. It is best. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. That's good. This prevents a rival bishop's check. That's good. This removes a bishop that was threatening to win material. It is excellent. Backs off. It is ideal. As a result, the adversary may kick a rook. It is incorrect. This kicks an opposing rook. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. By posing a threat to a knight and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is ideal. This defends a knight that was under attack and had no defenders. This threatens to reveal a check. It is best. This makes winning a knight a threat. It is ideal. This makes a check visible. It is ideal. This prevents a queen on the other side from checking. It is ideal. This overlooks an opportunity to unpin a pawn, allowing it to provide defense. It is a mistake. Equality is within reach, but this move doesn't get there. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This overlooks an opportunity to win a pawn. This permits the opponent to unpin a pawn, allowing it to provide defense. It is a miss. This ignores an opportunity to unpin a pawn, allowing it to provide defense. It is an inaccuracy. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This results in a pawn being lost. It is incorrect. This wins a pawn. This is the start of the end game and black is worse. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. This ignores an opportunity to capture a free pawn. This allows the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a miss. This ignores an opportunity to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a miss. This misses the chance to get a more equal position. This threatens to play checkmate. There was only one good move in that position. This misses an opportunity to defend a pawn that was under attack. It is a miss. This protects the attacked pawn. This stops the opponent from being able to play checkmate. It is good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. That's a decent move. That's good. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This is the only move that works. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This moves away from the queen of checking. That's good. A very strong play. It is excellent. This avoids the queen's check. It is ideal. This loses a pawn. This threatens to win a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. This moves away from the queen of checking. It is quite good. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is quite good. This evades the check from the queen. It is forced. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This steps away from the checking queen. It is best. A chance to advance a passed pawn towards promotion is lost in this. It is incorrect. This avoids the queen's check. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This steps away from the checking queen. It is best. 
This leads to losing a queen. It is a blunder. This is the way to win a queen. This is the only good move. This was a game-changing move, giving black a winning position. It is a great move. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. This reveals an attack that poses a threat to a rook. It is quite good. This moves the rook to safety. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Though not the best move technically, it was interesting. It is quite good. This takes down a weak queen. It is ideal. Takes back. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. Both players navigated the middle game well. Black had the better end of a sloppy end game.